And welcome back. We are joined in studio by members or representatives from Codetech. So here we have with us Edgar Chan, who is the website manager. We have Kayla Gomez, who's the public relations officer. And then we have Aziel Kuhl, who is a developer. So good morning and thank you for joining us. Hey, it's nice to have you guys. Let's go with some energy, man. You guys <laughs> travel all the way, because all of them, they're from Orange Walk. Yeah. So you guys travel all the way from Orange Walk to eventually share with this country something that we have always, always been waiting for in terms of, uh, then again, cool tech, but applications. Everybody's into applications. It's actually how we live now. You have applications to tell you how you work out for the day. <laughs> so let's talk about cool, cool tech. tech. Tell us what? a little about yeah. cool tech. Tell us about cool tech. Anybody? <laughs> Public relations, Ms. Gomez? <laughs> yeah, um, we'll like to start like how Cotec was developed mm -hmm. and Adilko is going to explain how it all started. Okay. All right. Uh, well, it's, um, we, we are just, uh, you know, as you see, you young guys, mm -hmm. um, girls, that uh, we just want to develop apps. Mm -hmm. We like technology. We know that's where everyone's heading. That's where we are. Mm -hmm. So we um, like to design apps and we want to design apps. So mm -hmm. uh, we started last year. Around September, we got together and we decided to see what problems are we can solve with technology, and this is one that we've solved. So we're we're young; we don't have more than a year, a couple mm -hmm. of months that we've been. Okay. We got together and decided to build okay. software. Wow. Nice. Yeah. So where did the the thought even uh, came from in terms of? BJAT and PSC, because this is what I see here. Now, free apps for BJAT and PSC. How does it help with the BJAT and the PSC? Um, well, it's a mobile app, so it's free. It's easy to get. It's You can download it Play Store or Google Play on Apple. Um, it's an app that has 100 questions mm -hmm. every month. Mm -hmm. so, so every month it updates. Every month it updates. So... Um, We've gathered different years of PAC and BJAT together, and our app gives you 100 questions. So you play the app. Um, every time a child plays, we've built an engine in it. So you get um, it filters, category, difficulty, and how long you take to answer a question. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the month, our app looks at all of this and then updates again, looking for your weaknesses and also filtering what you're supposed to learn from ministry. Wow. So it gives you another list based on how you did and what you're supposed to learn. So that's how it helps. So um, um, we know not a lot of parents can afford a tutor mm -hmm. an hour. So our app is free. No Wi-Fi needed. So once you download it, you're ready to go. Really? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. You know, and I really have to commend you guys. You know, you're all young. Um, <laughs> and I think, you know, we understand that we want school and learning to be fun and engaging and interactive. Um, and so being that, you know, you young people created this app, I think that's, you know, highly commendable um, and very impressive, you know. Um, but Edgar, I wanted to hear from you. So what's it like managing the website? What exactly are, is your role? Okay. Um, well, I am the, the one that builds the websites. Mm -hmm. Actually, we have um, a platform online that communicates with the app. Mm -hmm. So the app sends data to the to the um, website, and then um, the website is the one that that deals with the login system and things like like that. So sounds yeah. rather technical. Oh, yeah. Definitely, <laughs> it, it really does sound yeah. rather technical. Yeah. Um, but so, how long does it take to create a functioning app? Um, based on the on the um, complexity of the app. Mm -hmm. Okay. But. Uh, very um, small app would take us around um, one to two months. One to two months. Wow. And what's that process like creating the app? It's planning, a lot yes, of planning, lot of seeing planning. what we want, what's the end product. Then we break it up into steps, mm -hmm. what's first, what's second, what's priority. And that's how we usually build it. We talk, um, Kayla gets to mm -hmm. talk to our users. Mm -hmm. And so they see what they like, what they don't like. And we go back, we build, construct, yes. break it up again. And that's how we... For example, when the app is just first starting, we what we do is not not uh, launch it to the general public, mm -hmm. but we rather give it a beta, mm -hmm. a version to teachers and students to try on it, and mm -hmm. then they can crash check with us and yeah. what they need, what needs to change, what they don't like, or what would be better, and then I communicate with the guys. And you know, we have to change this, the color, the font, the size, mm -hmm. the logo, you know, things like that. Like because apart from you know, it's for kids. Kids, kids mm -hmm. need to have color, color and yeah. being attractive to yeah. it, not yeah. just like a simple app. 
so that's what I do. And then um, um, some parents are really involved into this, and they say, well, I would like to have this, and I would like to have that. Exam for example, um, I emailed some of them, and they said, um, you know, I like that it's on the mobile, but mm -hmm. then if we did a version for it to be landscape. And they said it's like it's easier for us to be portrait. So we would like you guys to make it portrait and oh, okay. Yeah. So I told them, okay, they want it portrait. Mm -hmm. Majority of them, so let's put it portrait. So okay. have we have we uh, found out how many people so far is actually using the app and how easy is it to get? What website do we go to get it? Um, right now we have two thousand users already. Sweet. Two thousand and one. I just downloaded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so two thousand one. <laughs> yeah. We've been multiple times number one in the App Store. We are currently in the top 10 mm -hmm. in our area. Wow. So, and that's very, we are very proud of it. Mm -hmm. We've started at 300 and we've went up to top number one wow. multiple times for both Math, BJAT, and PSC. Mm -hmm. It's easy to get. All you have to do is like you would search any other app. You just search BJAT PSC in mm -hmm. your device mm -hmm. and you download it. So yeah. where do you get the questions from when it comes to the BJAT and the PSC? Where, where are these questions coming from? <laughs> um, schools have really worked with us with okay. that. Mm -hmm. They've um, offered us the past papers and they've given us the documents so that we can input it into our database so that we can use every month. But you know, um, you're app developers, you're app creators, but what I find interesting is that you started out with an education app, you know, because I feel like most people that, you know, want to do marketing or, you know, want to make money yes. and gain publicity <laughs> and whatever, they'll start off with something that's maybe not so educational, maybe go with, you know, a game, you mm -hmm. know. So what made you guys um, delve into education as opposed to just jumping into maybe a game, game or, before. you know, something silly, something... Well, trivial. actually, he started with some kids at a school, mm -hmm. and he taught them about coding. And the kids of Standard Six and Five, they created their own game wow. for oh. school. So that's mm -hmm. where he said that the kids are like they can be attracted mm -hmm. to this, and so that's where he started. Like, okay, I will focus on the kids because mm -hmm. they can see, they can learn, and so mm -hmm. I'll make an app for them. Mm -hmm. So that's how it came that we said education. Education. Wow. Nice. Yeah. So what's the website? Because I've got kids, and I need to. Uh, I need to find the website. So what's that web what's that website? <laughs> okay, um actually the website is is for us to it's to Yes, ah, it's, uh, I got it. Yeah. I got it. I got it. So it's just simply the app. Go into the app store. Go into the app store. Very, very easy. You go into mm -hmm. the app store. I typed in Codec, mm -hmm. and there they were: Science PSC, Bija, mm -hmm. Math PSC, and they downloaded very quickly too. You know. And all of these questions are questions that re uh, that, that that pops up with the PSC. Yeah, so these are it actually gives you a better ability. That, you know that better thought to eventually grasp the information that comes out of the PSC. And so it's engaging, it's interactive. So, yes. you know, you're more likely to learn it through an app as opposed to just maybe the regular chat and talk. Mm -hmm. um, but what has the feedback been um, from people that maybe didn't get the beta? The, yeah. yeah, the beta um, um, app. What has the feedback been from users now? It has been really an awesome feedback. They are really happy with that. Mm -hmm. Some of them even say like it's too good to be true. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. And then they can't believe it's free because it's really helpful. Yeah. And they say, well, I just, I just love this app. They mm -hmm. have emailed us and they say we love this app, and so nice. it makes us and motivates us to mm -hmm. continue doing better in that. Well, and it seems uh, that uh, Code Tech is actually uh, they're actually hitting as we speak. So besides these apps. What else can we find with Code Tech? We have another app called Vistro, which is a restaurant app. Mm -hmm. So you can download our uh, that app. It's also free, and it learns where you, it knows where you are, and gives you restaurants and cafes in your area. Mm. So you can see menus, um, pricing. You can call them, message them, or get GPS location where they are. With that program, later this month, we are launching delivery. So you'll be able to or order your food within our app and get it delivered right to your door. You know, and that's one thing that I always complain about, the fact that you have these apps that are made for the U.S. or everywhere else. And here in Belize, you know, we can't... Where's Wings, you know? Where's the first pizza? You know, where's Pasquale's? And so it's great that, you know, we have, we have that now. But besides Vistra, what's next? What's the plan for the coming year? 
Okay, uh, for the coming year, what we are planning is, uh, for example, people are saying we don't have the language mm. um, of the PSC, and so it's like, oh, okay, so okay. we're moving on to doing the yeah, language, language app. arts. Oh, okay. okay. The language app? Like the yes. language arts language aspect. Arts. Of, yeah, yeah, because we have the science, science the PSC. And the okay. The oh. demand. Okay, so these are some of the things, of course, that uh, when it comes to the PSC, that are of uh, very importance, that of much importance, and you guys are actually about to delve into that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Orange Walk, my Orange goodness. Orange Walk, I know great things <laughs> coming out of Orange Walk. It's very impressive. Um, and have you been able to, well, I know PSC is due when? March and May, I believe. Um, so will there be some sort of a study that's conducted to see how the app that you created has helped um, the users? Yes, actually he has uh, the track of that. Yeah, we okay. track all of that. Um, many of our users, we, when we speak to them, um, they start at 20, 30 percent. Wow. At the end of the month, they've and risen up to, 10. yeah, some of them start <laughs> really low yeah. and they rise up at the end of the month, 50, 60 percent, mm -hmm. which is a lot. Yeah. You know, you, they play it 10, 20 times. Are, and in our app, it tracks. So the parents can see this as well. So they can also mm -hmm. sit down and see, you know, my child's failing in fractions. My mm -hmm. child is failing something and they can solve it right there with them. Mm -hmm. So um, we give them, we know it and the parents also can track how good their child is doing. And many mm -hmm. teachers have said um, it's a great tool to pinpoint the weaknesses of, of, of kids student, mm -hmm. yeah. and previous knowledge and target what they can't do at, in the class. They just tell them, play the game home bring it next class and mm -hmm. let me see how you did is it being used in classrooms or yes yes it's being you know that would have been my my, my uh, next question there because we know for a fact that the minute the ministry of education always tries to find new ways to enhance the way that we learn especially when it comes to the kids and so what is the conversation like with the ministry of education have we approached the ministry of education no, we yet. haven't at right. the moment okay. um, we just launched in october and we've been um, smoothing out all the edges of yeah. all our apps mm -hmm. but we haven't but a lot of schools have taken the initiative of doing it themselves themselves. so they take the app everyone has something mm -hmm. either a phone or a tablet mm -hmm. and take it into class and they play mm -hmm. you know they play for a round they play um our app allows to play with somebody else with another partner and they play together they compete each other mm -hmm. and um so they've learned, they're learning, they're using the program already. So, but we haven't been able to, to we haven't have considered that, that conversation as yet. And are you mm. considering maybe moving it to an actual like website platform? So in case maybe you don't have a tablet or a phone, you could go on the computer and, and, desktop. and use yeah, it? Yeah, we are considering, we are building some f a format for that so that you yes. can log in from a website. So it's fairly easy once again. All you need to do is to go to the uh, the Play Store. The, Play Store. And the Google Play or Apple mm -hmm. or App Store. Yeah. All right, so you go there, you download uh, the app. And as long as you download that app, you are able to use this app without In internet. Internet, yes. Yeah, yeah. wow. and, and you know, as you were explaining to me, it learns. It so learns. every month it updates. Could you explain what you meant by learning? Um, every time a child answers each question, it, our app tracks um, the category of the question, mm -hmm. how long he takes or they take to answer it, and the difficulty ranging from one to five. So each question it stores that way. At the end of the month, it filters all of that. It mm -hmm. looks at what your weaknesses is, are and what you're lacking, and then it cross checks with our database of different years of PSC and BJAT, and then it says, okay, maybe. Um, John needs more fractions. 30% mm -hmm. of his list will consist of fractions. fractions. Mm -hmm. And then the other 70 will be um, what ministry or what the curriculum has for him. Then it downloads yeah. that questions and then he has, he updates and has another 100. So that's how it learns yeah. from wow. the child. So, so far, uh, 2001 One. person <laughs> have, <laughs> have actually downloaded the app. Is this only in the Orange Walk District or are we able to track where, uh, what uh, different parts of the country that you're getting uh, users from? That's the really amazing part because we have, it's just a, a little bit weird, but we have people from Jamaica having downloading it, so which is really amazing. And we have people from Belize, we have people from Cayo, we have like, Countrywide, we have people, especially Orange Walk. Wow, and it's fairly new too, so it's eventually going to, yes. to catch it's on. Yeah. It's just starting, it's just starting. I wish I had this when I was preparing for PSC. Uh, back <laughs> in know? my day, if we didn't even have a PSC, there was not a PSC, that's one. 
and there was not a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's fairly new. It's fairly new to, uh, to folks. Uh, but one of the things, like we mentioned, you know, the world is evolving into uh, technology. And mm -hmm. uh, you guys are actually on stream in making sure that our kids here in the country, our children here in Belize, are actually getting first, that first class look of the PSC, so they are better prepared. And now, to know that we've got folks all the way from Jamaica, because we know that when it comes to the Caribbean examination exactly. and, 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 you know, and so on, that they've got that hands-on feel as well. What are we doing to market this app? Oh, not much. <laughs> not much. We, 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 uh, we started in October, so we've, you know, been just sharing it with friends mm -hmm. and, you know. And trying to develop it. Yeah, we're, yeah. Um, so we share with someone, they share with somebody else, and that's really what we've been doing till this point. So but is it only you three that's doing this, or what is your crew, and are you working along with other businesses to uh, try and get things off the ground? Um, there is another person that designs the app, so he gives us images, and he really knows how to design, mm -hmm. so he helps us out. You know, I, I'm not visual, so I don't know how to make it. <laughs> yeah. So someone, I hand it over to someone, he gives me what, how it should look, and I yeah. design it. Um, we don't really have any businesses that we're working with right now. Uh, it's mainly just us mm -hmm. four that are really... Wow. That's really, really I'm really impressed. Yeah, it's impressive <laughs> you know? what you guys are actually doing here. And I really do think, though, that the, the conversation should start with the Ministry of Education because this is actually a plus to education. It's actually a win-win yeah. situation. The application is free. Uh, all you need to do is the slight internet just to download it. Yes. It's, the download is, uh, process is fairly quick. As long as you left that particular uh, uh, area, you're actually ready and set to use this app. We travel a lot. We've mm -hmm. got our items with us. This is actually a good way to make sure that we roll out when it comes to the best of education. Guys, you guys, oh my goodness. And these are what the questions... Mm -hmm. the, the so that's the way... Okay. Looks, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to answer it because I might embarrass myself. <laughs> let me try it. Let me, let me see what we've got here, okay. why you've got it. All right. It says, okay, you're finished? All right. Remember, it's a fun you Friday, You can go ahead guys. and embarrass yourself. It is, a, it is a fun Friday. It is a fun Friday. <laughs> All right. It says, each week, Bill saves $7.43. If this is done for seven weeks, how much does he still needs to buy, still needs to buy a sweater which costs $65? Each week, seven forty-three, seven <laughs> weeks. Hmm. <laughs> How much does he need to buy a sweater? That's cost. All right, that cost. Being that uh, I, I don't have my calculator, <laughs> and I'm trying something in my head. This one is really quick, so I'll say fifty-nine forty-four. All right, is that so? Uh -huh. Incorrect. Oh my goodness! Twelve ninety-nine. Twelve ninety-nine. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not taking my shot at it. No, you should. You should. Let's see. Well, okay, let's get to another question. It is fun Friday afterwards. Let's, let's try the science. All right, baby. let's try the science. I'm Ooh, yeah, I hope I do. Hope I'm good at my science. All right. So she needs to log in as yet. All right. So there we go. So we're getting to, uh, all right, it says science, PSE, master. It's fairly quick. It's fairly easy. That's and what I I'm must say here. that it downloaded in less than a minute. All right, so zero, yeah. all right, it says average 0%. So what do I have to do now? You, you, you're can, more? you can start, either you play single or with, or with a, a single. partner. Single, I'll go single. All right. <laughs> oh, you can play with a partner. Yes. Yeah. All right, oh. so it's the food chain. The food chain. Let's see what's going on here. Food chain, good. Uh-huh. It says one... It says organize. Uh, organize. Organize the picture above to correctly uh, to correctly represent a food chain. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So to correctly organize a food chain. All right. So I see four. I go four, mm -hmm. two, um, then one, then five, then three. I think I'll go that. I'll go this one. I hope I got it right. I hope I got it correct. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Firstly, of course, you need sunlight. <laughs> then you need the crop. Then the grasshopper eats the crop. Then the iguana eats the grasshopper. Then the fox eats the iguana. Well, in your defense, you know, it's been a while, actually. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. It hasn't but, been that too long for me, so I'm back. <laughs> but it's fairly easy. It's fairly quick. It's 
free, gratis. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, all you need to do is to go to the Play Store, the App Store. You uh, download. It's less than a uh, less it took than me a less minute. than a minute to download. Yeah. And uh, you could move away from your internet and you could play. Yes. You, we travel a lot. It's best to have these things and try to refresh your mind and things like you know, And it's also good for parents. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the question will be asked by the student or by the child to the parents, and he or she will be able to know just by using the this app. app. My so, goodness. Any. Anything else you guys want to share? Any other information? Let's go, Mr. Quiet. Chan. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Chan is just observing. Mr. <laughs> Chan, any other information you'd like to share? Um, well, um, we have been planning a lot in improving the app mm -hmm. and trying to work with the internet and trying to extend the functionality of it. So, um, well, we're going to try to, to integrate the, the um, up on the website, mm -hmm. uh, like how you guys were, were saying, that is a very good idea. And um, um, well, I think it's. it's I mean, I think it speaks here. for itself. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. one thing yeah. that we're uh, planning to get into is because you know some parents like on this era didn't know like the school, they didn't get to really finish high school yeah. at least. Mm -hmm. So yeah. some of them are really difficult like to help the kids. kids. Yeah. They mm -hmm. don't really understand. So what we're we're planning on implementing in this app is um, to have a link to a YouTube whereby it's like mm. a similar question so nice. that they can go there and use watch the, and watch the oh. tutorial and they get to understand the question and just apply it. And what I like about Belizeans making this app is that it's made for Belizeans. So it's, you know, considering our unique situation and whatever yes. issues we may face. Yes. So I think exactly. it's, again, I'm, I'm so impressed. <laughs> it is impressive. And uh, just like you mentioned, the, the, you know, the, the impressiveness of it, uh, not only can it be used right here at home, uh, it could be used across the Caribbean as yeah. well as yes. these questions are actually from there. And uh, this is, my gosh. And uh, finally, you, your, your last words, uh, Edgar. Did I, is that Edgar? No, that's Azia. Well, I would just um, you know thank everyone that's already downloaded the app and for the feedback that they've given us and the support that they always give us. I just recommend any parent, you know, any teacher that is willing and wants a way to a fun, interactive way to benefit the child and help out their their students. Download, download the app; it's free. Mm -hmm. so there, you don't need any fancy phone you don't yeah. need any once you have a mobile or tablet you're good to go just download it it's free as as long as you need it so for those of you who are saying my phone no <laughs> no you could actually download the yeah. app as long as uh, you could uh, get some data on your phone you download the app and it's fairly free it's fairly easy it's free. and it's fun as well to answer those questions i was laughed at a while ago <laughs> <laughs> because i got two incorrect answers <laughs> but it's you know it's something new it's something new for us to so, uh, eventually venture off into so definitely check out the app at home you know as we've been saying it's really really easy to get you know all you need to do is if you have an android go to the google play store mm -hmm. and if you have an apple go to the app store you can type in psc or bjat or even um code tech and you'll find the apps there they're free you can download them you can use them without internet i mean it's it's amazing so thank you guys so much <laughs> for joining so us nice this to have you in. <laughs> so charlie while we continue to enjoy new things and learn new things when we come back we'll be learning about <laughs> stay with us we'll be right back <laughs>